it had not been the Lord who was on our side. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, when men rose up against me, against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against me, against us. Good morning and welcome to Morning Glory. I am your host, Marjorie McAllister, from Restoring Broken Vessels and Walking in Newness. The morning glory comes to help you, precious saints, jumpstart your day with daily meditations from scripture. Follow me, come with me to the throne room. Holy Spirit, faithful guide, you who are always by the Christian's side, We come into your presence this morning, Father, because we know that in your presence there is fullness of joy. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come, we ask that you pour out your blessings upon us this morning. Do whatever you choose to do, because you are God and we are your subjects, we are your servants. We are your Martha face, your disciples. Help us to do your bidding. Wash us once again. Search us, our hearts, Father. Saturate our minds as you renew them once again this morning. We give you every organ in our body. And I ask this morning, Father, that you use each one in accordance to your word to glorify your name. That the praises come from our lips, the songs from our heart this morning. Worship come from the innermost being as we speak your word, for they are the living, breathing you coming out of our stone but from your stoma to ours and to whomever chooses to listen this morning. Lord, I ask that you cover me with your blood, cover each listener, each person that will be viewing. Baptize us again, Lord, with your fire, not to consume, but to revive. Envelop us this morning once again with your Liquid love, Father, we need a new, a fresh touch from you this morning. And as the words go forth, let them go forth with power. Heal, set free, deliver those who are in chains, behind bars, in bondage. Set the captives freed once again as we call upon your name. Now, Father, I remove myself from this equation. I decrease so you can increase. Let them hear you and not me in the mighty name of Jesus and allow my words to be with grace and seasoned with salt that I may reach those who have not yet known your name. These things we ask in your mighty name, the only saving station, for at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are almighty God, King of kings and Lord of lords, Prince of peace. Have your way this morning. And we decree and we declare that it is so in accordance to your words, amen and amen again. This morning, the word of the Lord comes to us from Psalms 121. And it reads as follows. Here begins the reading of God's holy words. They are already blessed, they are his words. I 
will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. But the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. What do you do when troubles come your way? What do you do when trials creep up on you? You must endure. You must turn your eyes up to the hills from whence cometh your help. I've heard it said, the hills have eyes. The hills does have eyes. For the Lord God, his eyes, goes to and fro the earth, looking, watching, seeking. So turn your eyes to the hills this morning because God is watching you. You ask, where can I find help? Here's the answer. Your help cometh from the Lord, for he is the one that made the heaven and earth. And you can take his words and know that they must come into fruition, for he will not suffer your feet to be moved, children. For he that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is always awake. He's always active as his eyes goes to and fro the earth. He's seeking, he's watching. He hears the cry of the righteous. His ears are always attentive to their cries. Why not cry out to him? When you're going through sons and daughters, children of the most high God, open your mouth and call upon him. For he is nigh, his word is nigh, even in thy mouth. Remember, he will not suffer your foot to be moved. For it is he that keepeth you and he never sleeps, no slumbers. He is the one that keep Israel. So he keeps you because you are spiritual Israel. You are connected to the vine. You see, the Lord is your keeper and mine. The Lord is the one who provides the shade of, upon the, your right hand. Therefore, the sun shall never smite you, neither by day nor the moon by night. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, seen and unseen. The Lord shall preserve thy soul, your mind, your will, your emotion. Matter of fact, he conforms your will and mine to his he bends our will and he conforms it to his so that we may listen and obey and walk upright before him and keep his commandments. The Lord, the Lord shall preserve you, O children. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth, even 
forevermore. Selah. These are the words of the Lord that came to you this morning from Psalms 121. Listen and obey, for he has spoken.